We're doing well, Paul. Hall of Fame voting. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Piazza. Is, who, who's the biggest surprise that got left out? The biggest surprise that got left out, uh, to me, is probably Bagwell or, or Trevor Hoffman. Hmm. I thought the guy with the you know, second most saves in history probably should have gotten in. Uh, I thought Bagwell should have gotten in. But, uh, you know, I think the Hall has a little bit of uh, well, I guess relief pitchers have a stigma as, as regarding the Hall of Fame, there's only five in there, and you know, he still did very well. Hoffman got like 67%, I think. I think he'll get in next year. Were you surprised at, at just the amount of love that Ken Griffey Jr. got? No. No, no I, 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 I thought he should have got 100%. He's, hmm. I've, I've covered baseball for over 30 years. He's the best overall player I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Owens. I was surprised that there were people that actually left him off that ballot. Was that, was that kind of a first time? You know, there's always that stigma with baseball yeah. in the Hall of Fame where you kind of differentiate between this guy's a Hall of Famer and this guy's a first ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, I don't know. If Ken Griffey isn't a first ballot <laughs> Hall of Famer on, uh, on your criteria for, for Hall of Famers, you, there's something wrong with it. You know? <laughs> I just I don't get that. But, you know, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Joe DiMaggio, uh, Tom Seaver, Ted Williams, none of them have received 100% of the vote. When this kind of thing happens, Hoinsey, of course, um, the attention shifts to some other players, maybe on the outside looking in. You mentioned Bagwell, you mentioned Trevor Hoffman. How about from the Indians' standpoint? When you look at some of these other guys like Albert Bell, Kenny Lofton, is there a case to be made for either guy? Would you make the case? Well, I think, uh, yeah, I think there is a case to be made. Unfortunately, they've both come and gone off the ballot, and now it's, you know, up to, uh, you know, the, uh, the Veterans Committee or whatever uh, form or shape the Veterans Committee takes. I don't think those guys are going to be eligible for, you know, maybe for a while, like 2020 maybe. Mm -hmm. But I think you could make a case for either one, uh, especially, you know, I, you know, when you look at Tim Raines, all the love he's getting in comparison to uh, Lofton, I think, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty comparable right there. And, uh, and uh, you could uh, say, you know, I think Kenny got on when all those steroid guys came on and he got overlooked and he was on, you know, I think he was one and done. He was on the ballot. He didn't get 5% and he was off in one year. And I know that he was not pleased with that. Uh, Hoinsey, shifting gears now to the Indians, Mike Napoli is officially signed. Uh, and you wrote uh, earlier this week that it sounds like Mike Napoli is going to be the Indians' first baseman. Is that going to be every day? And what does that mean for Carlos Santana? Well, I think Carlos better put his glove in cold storage right now because <laughs> it doesn't sound like he's, he's going to be playing much uh, first base. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, Napoli's, Napoli's like, what, 34, 35 He's not going to be playing every day, but I think he's he's not playing first base. He's going to be DHing, um, and you know he played over 100 games at first base last year. You know, Carlos played about I think more, a lot more than that, 100 maybe 40, 150. Um, so I think they'll find a, a you know kind of a happy medium there. But right now, I I'd say uh, Napoli's going he's going to be he's going to be the uh, he's going to be the everyday first base. I don't know if I would call Napoli a big move. I don't know if I'd call Rajay Davis a big move. But if you look at the Indians and, and what they've already accomplished so far this offseason and, and what they still need to do, if, if anything, would you say that the bigger moves are already in the rearview mirror, Hornsey? Yeah, unless, you know, you know, Peter, unless something falls out of the sky here, you know, like uh, a Justin uh, Upton, Mm -hmm. You know, no, he finds no takers, and he's mm -hmm. twisting in the wind in uh, late late February and early March. Uh, and the Indians, you know, take a shot at him. I think uh, the best things, have, the best, the big moves have been made. But now, you, I think you can always make a trade. You know, uh, Marcel uh, Osuna is still out there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know he's, he's kind of that's heated up again with between Texas and Miami. So that that could happen. You know, that's a name to remember, but, you know, I get the impression that, you know, as far as free agents go, you know, this, this, uh, the book is closed for 2016. 
So that being said, Hoinze, as uh, we approach spring, tra spring training, where do you think this team stands with their expectations for the year? Do you think that they believe they can compete for the division? Uh, it's gonna, you know, I, two days ago, I thought they had a shot. I, I thought they would be a, a very competitive team. And Kansas City gets Alex Gordon mm. back. That, that, uh, I think that was a killer move. I think that was a huge move for the Royals, uh, you know, because they've lost some starting pitching. They've lost a couple of those, those bullpen guys. But getting Gordon back, boy, you, you get that defense back. You get that great lineup, one to nine. I don't see how the Indians compete with that. I don't think they, they did enough offensively to challenge them. And um, pitching is great, but, uh, you know, you got to score to win. And, and I just don't think this, this lineup is going to score enough to win the division. I can see it now. Uh, a lot of your leads, Hoinsey, for, for the 162-game season. It's going to be something along the lines of the Indians got some great pitching, but they didn't get enough run support and fall two to one or fall yeah. one to nothing. Yeah, I, I really, you know, I like, I think Davis and, and, and Napoli can, can help them, but I thought they still needed to add, add more offense. All right, Hoinsey, we appreciate the time. I'm sure we'll talk to you more as, uh, as spring training comes along. Thanks, guys.